Okay, good morning from Northern Ants. This is Mark, and today we're just going to do a little rundown of my setup. I have changed it up since the last time I did an update video, and we've got a couple new colonies, and we lost a couple, unfortunately. As you can see, I've got the setup now. I don't have it up on that wood stand. I had it, I had it up on this for the test tubes. It was really nice when I had a lot of test tubes, but there was no, it was taking up too much of the space that I could use for keeping, you know, keeping the colonies. Uh, we've got, this is the colony, the three for my colonies in one. This is a, a Formica colony that I just got from Tar Heel Ants. Unfortunately, that one, the it got too cold, so the, all the brood died, and the queen was kind of just barely holding on, and she had just died this morning or last night that I noticed. Um, so we'll get an in-depth cloth look on that one. got this is our um plus um just a heads up that um mac is replacing that colony for me and that's awesome uh, that he's doing that we're just waiting for a warmer day um this is the the harvester ants um, pogo colony the western harvester ant it's uh the one i got in august and that one is doing really well it's a big population i'll show you a clip of uh of that colony. And then we've got this colony that I got for the Black Friday sale. That one is doing really well also it's a lot less brood than the august colony and population is not quite as big they did stop producing brood for a while but now they do are got a pretty good um, stockpile of brood again <music> And then up front here, this colony here, this is the Formica, uh, another Formica black colony that um, the other day I actually had to move them from their original, this is their original mini herd that they were in, and the that was build up a mold on the water tower, um, just like almost overnight, it was within two days that I hadn't looked at them. So that one I had to... That was interesting, moving the whole colony from that mini hearth over to this one. I'll do a close-up of that one for you.
And then back here, we got this is where unfortunately my um, those of you that follow the uh, Polyurgus Queen, uh, she was gradually losing workers pretty rapidly, and unfortunately the other day she had died also. I'll show you a few pictures of her up close. I used the magnifying glass. I have that back there still because she did have one worker left, and I did, you know, there was really nothing else I could do with her, so I just left her in the in the mini hearth. And then the colony of the back here is the the carpenter ants that I had gotten from the that log that I cut down. We still don't have a queen, but I have been able to find some more of the workers and, and some more males in the log. When it got a little bit warmer, they were kind of poking out. I'll show you a couple clips of that one real right now. And then this colony here, this is the um, uh, Advagasker, I, I can never pronounce it, but it'll be down in the description, the, the kind of um, ants that each of these, they are, uh, their scientific um, names. And uh, this colony, it is the one that I had gotten in, I think it was October, I had found the colony and I dug up. A bunch of eggs it was just workers and eggs and those eggs went as they developed they many of them turned into males and females and then within the last two weeks or so um, or maybe a little longer than two weeks uh, two of them actually mated when they got old enough they were they were always up on the top the males and females the winged females and the males and this all of a sudden two of them had pulled their wings. They've got a lot of eggs in there and a lot of the pupa. I'll show you a clip of that right real quick right now too. Thank you so much. That's a breakdown of my of my setup as of right now. Uh, we do have snow on the ground as of this morning again. Um, looking forward to a little bit warmer weather so I can start getting out and doing some hunting for some new queens and some new colonies to add to the collection. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to please hit that like button. Comment down below which, which colony is your favorite. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that right now. I'd really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.